Something new is happening to photoelectric controls. They're starting to talk back, to communicate with their users in a new language called contrast. Contrast is the difference between light and dark. And all this contrasting talk happens when and where you need it most, at the sensing job site. Tritronic's new Smart Eye is the first photoelectric sensor to feature a dynamic contrast indicator. Gone forever are the days when only a photoelectric expert could set up a dependable photoelectric control system. This clearly understandable contrast display, combined with the Smart Eye's unparalleled sensitivity, allow even a first-time user to approach a sensing task with confidence and to achieve dependable performance. Smart Eye's new contrast indicator displays the information you need to properly align and position the sensor's light beam. This indicator displays the sensor's performance in a fast-acting bar of light that responds instantly to changes in the amount of light reaching the detector. This means that the sensor's ability to perform the sensing task can be verified at a glance. In the past, if a sensor was performing erratically, it was difficult to diagnose the reason. And if someone tried to improve the sensor's performance, there was no way to tell if the changes were helping or hindering the situation. It was all just trial and error guesswork. But now you can see exactly how much contrast is being generated and whether it's coming from the target object or some object in the background. This allows for quick understanding of position problems and guides you to a good solution. But what does the term contrast mean when applied to photoelectrics? And why is this an improvement over the older excess gain rating system used up till now? Well, excess gain is a series of published charts and graphs which attempt to help you predict how well a sensor should work in your application. But this approximation is no longer needed since the actual performance is now displayed for you by the new contrast indicator. You can now see exactly how well your sensor is working in real time at the job site, object after object after object. Contrast shows you how much difference in light exists between the brightest and the darkest states of each sensing job. A large difference is a very stable situation, capable of working well without attention for long periods of time, while a small difference will require more attention and periodic fine-tuning. Excess gain, therefore, is a theoretical prediction of how a sensor might work while contrast is a real-time display of how the sensor is working, right here, with that target, right now. And really, isn't that what we've always needed to know? Now your operators and maintenance people can monitor the sensor's performance with a glance. The smart eye will call their attention to a dirty lens, or a misaligned sensor will stand out before the situation interrupts production. To help you get the most from your smart eye, we pack a simple instruction sheet inside each box. Let's follow these instructions through an actual application to demonstrate how easily this new sensor solves detection problems. We'll power a digital smart eye with one of our new programmable Multimate controls. And we'll let this lamp represent the load. Step one is to adjust the offset until the first bar on the contrast indicator lights. Now move the sensor around the target object and try to maximize the contrast reading. This will be your brightest or lightest state reading. Now remove the target and see what your darkest state reading will be. The difference between the two readings is your contrast range or deviation. In this case we have a bright reading of 8 and a low reading of 2. So our contrast reading is six bars. The contrast rating chart, included in the instruction, rates five to six bars as good, or generally enough to adequately perform most sensing tasks. Now all it remains to do is to use the offset adjustment to move the contrast display until it straddles the turn-on threshold. Digital smart eyes switch their outputs 
whenever the contrast indicator passes between 5 and 6, as indicated by this output lamp. Here's how the contrast indicator helps you through one of Photoelectric's most difficult tasks, background suppression. The task is to detect a small object laying on a conveyor belt. The problem here is that traditional sensors cannot see the subtle difference in light between the light bounced off the target and the light bounced off the surface of the conveyor. But SmartEye allows you to see and to understand how the light is bouncing off the background. With this information, you can select a safe sensor position that avoids those angles that bring the background into view. Here the target gives the light state reading mentioned in the instructions. The background is the dark state reading. Therefore, the contrast deviation is the difference between the two readings. The rating chart will detail the performance you can expect with a given amount of contrast deviation. For example, one to two bars is poor, insufficient for dependable service. Three to four bars is fair, adequate, as long as periodic adjustments are acceptable. Five to six is a good reading, adequate for most tasks. And seven to eight is very good. Nine to 10, of course, is excellent, much more than required for dependable service. The contrast indicator is only part of the story. Our switching output digital smart eye has an ultra-fast speed of response, capable of detecting events lasting less than one half millisecond, which is 500 microseconds. This ultra-fast turn-on time means greater accuracy in high-speed counting, or precise control of high-speed operations where repeatability and accurate positioning are important. SmartEye has the ability to take a very small light to dark contrast change and amplify it to a usable level without sacrificing any of this high speed. The sensor's incredible sensitivity allows it to operate down tiny fiber optic light guides with diameters as small as 15 thousandths of an inch. These tiny beam widths mean you can now accurately detect a part's location to within 10 thousandths of an inch or less. SmartEye uses low voltage DC power. Its light source is pulse modulated for good ambient light immunity. SmartEye gives you a choice of models with different types of outputs. One model has the normal digital switching transistors. The other has a DC proportional analog output. SmartEye uses changeable optical blocks, which permit the same sensor to be used in a wide range of applications. Here we're using the retroreflective block to send a beam across a large space. Notice how easy alignment becomes with the contrast indicator. Here's the short range optical proximity block. The converging beam block is excellent for detecting proper fill levels, small parts, or registration marks. SmartEye's superior performance is really obvious when equipped with the fiber optic adapter block. This F1 optical block will accept any flexible fiber optic light guide using the American standard .187 diameter tip. This means you can replace older sensors with a modern SmartEye without changing the existing fiber optics. SmartEye's mounting holes and exterior dimensions were designed to directly replace many of the older sensors in use today without changing the mounting brackets or hardware. But don't let appearances fool you. SmartEye is a technological upgrade with twice the range and speed of most sensors at a competitive price. Along with interchangeable lens blocks, you can also select the type of light that best fits your needs. Smart eyes are available with visible green, visible red, and high-powered invisible infrared light sources. Using a smart eye equipped with a green light-emitting diode gives us certain color sensing advantages. Here, the green light allows us to see a red registration mark printed on a light background. Visible red is bright enough to be useful in opacity sensing applications, such as detecting the contents in this pouch, 
or overlapping splice detection, and label detection on labeling machines. Red light is also excellent for sorting parts by their color, or for seeing translucent plastic objects. Our infrared smart eye emits a bright beam of invisible infrared light. The extra brightness of the infrared LED gives this sensor greater range and punch through than the visible light smart eyes. Infrared is generally the best choice for simple object detection or part placement work. It stands up best to dirty environments. Since introducing the smart eye, we have seen it perform many seemingly impossible inspection tasks thanks to the interaction of this sensor and the human being who must install and maintain it. The contrast indicator gives so much more information than the old style idiot light that once you've become accustomed to using it, you'll wonder how you ever did without it. Now before you come to the conclusion that we're exaggerating, we must admit that the smart eye cannot see everything. It isn't a magic wand sensor, but it is as close to one as anything we've seen. The recent introduction of low-cost photo eyes has created the idea that photoelectrics are a legitimate place to cut costs. We know that the initial cost of today's automation system is high enough to make an inexpensive sensor seem tempting. But they affect the performance of the entire control system. In fact, the production of an entire machine often depends on the performance of the lowly sensor. A photoelectric sensor that needs constant readjustment or is operating marginally can cause excessive downtime and the loss of productivity. All of this translates into dollars lost, far more dollars than could possibly be saved on the initial purchase of a low-cost sensor. So if you have an application where your present sensor is operating marginally, or if you have a new project coming up, give us a call on our toll-free watch line. The smart eye could be your problem solver, that better mousetrap that you've been looking for. Thanks for watching. For help with an application or for more information on this product, please call Tritronics or visit our website at the link below.